Hi, my name's John. I'm a maths tutor and secondary maths teacher. Today I'm going to help you with some of the more common problems that you'll see in maths. Now a few of you may be wondering, what is this thing we call pi? Well, on the front of it, all it is is a letter, a Greek letter. But what we use it for in mathematics is, it stands for a very, very, very important number, which you may have seen in formulas involving circles. Now what is it? What specific number is it? The way to think about it is, any perfect circle you can find, may it be on a tub of Pringles, or just anywhere you see out in the street, a clock face, whichever circle, if you take that circle and you look at it here, if you know the following measurements, the diameter, that's the length from one side to the other going through the origin, and you also know the distance around the edge, which you can measure by getting a piece of string, pulling it around the edge of the object, and then measuring that string. If you know those two things, the circumference, the distance around the edge, and the diameter, then you can find out for yourself exactly what pi is. All you need to do to find out pi is to do the following. Pi is equal to with any circle, and that's the remarkable thing. It is circumference divided by diameter. Now if you don't believe me, you go out and you find yourself something that is a perfect circle and a piece of string and a ruler and measure it for yourself. And you will find that you will get an answer about 3.1. The real value of pi is something like 3.14. However, it goes on forever. And in fact, computers are still working out exactly what pi is and always will be. So your task for today is to go out into the world, find a circle, and find this value. So that's once again, the, the, air, the length around the edge, the circumference, divided by the diameter, which is the length from one side to the other going through the origin. If you put it in this relationship, you will always find pi is the answer. And that is what is so remarkable about this wonderful number called pi. And that is, what is pi?